today's curious ion chair development and uh, rather observation has been uh, I had prior disconnected the uh, the top and the bottom electrode right these big metal fan shrouds were both disconnected from the 50,000 volt output from this uh, configuration that I've got set up here uh, what happened then was in using the same configuration as is, right? We got the copper half sphere on the bottom, a copper half sphere on top that's slightly smaller uh, dimension. Uh, and then we've got a magnetic north sticking up here, uh, which means there's a south on the top, on the bottom of that magnet that's come down. So you've got a, a polar attraction there with north on the bottom and south on the top. Over there, it's the reverse. North is on the top and south is on the bottom. That's the negative transmission side. This is the positive transmission side. Uh, that's not the development. The development is that without the top and bottom electrodes uh, wired up, no arc could be caused to be perceived between there, which means that there needs to be a spatial distribution of uh, ionized potential to be able to help contribute to the discharge that's being developed, uh, or at least it's having some sort of an effect that's causing an increase of localized charge in the air to help ionize that path or that channel between the, the leads there. So let me get in here. There you go. Let's see. So I'll show you. Too close to the negative side. Oh, no, I left my arm. You can see the little violet, little violet arc in there, right? That won't be present if I disconnect the top and bottom electrodes. It's only present because they're currently reconnected. That nice little thread. That nice little thread can be accelerated to be a larger, uh, uh, larger diameter plasma by adding capacity there, right, to be able to increase the charge. It'll also reduce the frequency of that discharge in doing so, though, as a result. Uh, anyway, so we need spatial differential, or spatial distribution around the gap. The positive charge is below that gap. The negative charge is above that gap because of the way the, the ion chair is set up up here, right? That's the top. Top electrode. The bottom electrode. have a nice little, uh, you see that guy over there? I forgot the guy's name. It's the 12-sided crystal. Uh, Vogel crystal, there you go. Just came back. Cool. Anyway, so that's a curiosity. If the top and bottom electrodes are removed, I can't get that to draw an arc across there. Not enough potential. But if those are there, bam, there it is cooking. So, thought I'd share. Now to, now to work out some sort of a spherical model that can take advantage of such a a proper geometry of ionization.